Hello, my name is Michal and today I'd like to show you an awesome tool that engineers from SoftGroomy have created to make it easier to understand how Kafka works. Apache Kafka is a distributed stream processing platform that is used for building real-time data pipelines and scalable, fault-tolerant, event-driven applications. Let's take a look at the visualization with uh, simplest possible configuration, uh, which can be adjusted in the panel on the left. Uh, you can see three entities, a uh, producer, a uh, broker, and a consumer. Uh, so the top lane represents a Kafka producer. Mm, this component creates and publishes messages to topics. Uh, let's say we are building an e-commerce platform. Mm, a service that receives orders from clients could use Apache Kafka producer to inform the rest of the system that an order has been created. Uh, the bottom lane uh, is a Kafka consumer that uh, subscribes and receives messages from topics. Uh, for example, a service responsible for sending emails could continuously fetch the events about new orders and send confirmation emails to clients. And between those two, there is a Kafka broker that does the actual message exchange. Uh, it usually runs as a standalone server application as a part of Kafka cluster. Uh, in the top right corner, uh, we can adjust simulation speed, pause it or restart it. Uh, let's slow it down a little bit. Uh, in this simplest setup, uh, the producer is uh, sending messages to a topic with one partition. Uh, which is handled and stored by a single broker and these messages are being received by a single consumer. Uh, this letter in a circle indicates consumer groups currently committed offset, which I'll explain later. Now let's play with the configuration a little bit. The first thing we can do is uh, to add an additional broker which has been added here. Uh, but as you can see, nothing happens uh, because two nodes cannot operate on the same topic partition. Uh, so let's add an additional partition. And uh, we can see that the broker number, number two became the leader of the second partition. Uh, and the producer is sending the messages to either of the partitions uh, based on the message key or the configure assignment strategy. Uh, the button to the left of the broker uh, allows us to turn it on and off. Mm. So let's uh, disable the broker number two. Uh, we can see uh, that the producer is sending new messages uh, to partition number one. Uh, <clears throat> but the data in the second partition is no longer available. And with such configuration, there is a risk that we may lose our data uh, when one or both brokers go offline uh, and cannot be brought online due to a hardware failure, for example. And to overcome this problem, Kafka introduces replication. So let's bring this node back to life and increase replication factor. Now we can see that the green partition uh, is being replicated to broker number two and vice versa. Uh, if we uh, disable the broker this time, uh, we can see that the operating broker became the leader of both partitions uh, and our data is safe. Mm. Let's bring it back to life. And now we can see that the broker number one is still the leader of both partition, but they are being followed and replicated by the other broker. Now let's take a look at the consumer's configuration. Uh, we can add an additional consumer in the same group, uh, but let's also switch to a single partition configuration to observe something. And we can see that the new consumer is idle because just as brokers, uh, two consumers from the same group cannot uh, read the same partition. 
uh, and uh, if we bring the two partitions configuration back uh, we can see that the workload is uh, distributed between those two consumers Uh, going back to our e-commerce platform, uh, let's say we would like to set up an additional service. Uh, the service that prints uh, receipts of the incoming orders, for example. Uh, the service uh, needs to receive the same set of messages as the email sending service. And in Kafka, uh, we can uh, solve it by creating a new consumer group. Uh, so let's uh, create a uh, third consumer and uh, assign it to group B. And uh, we can see that uh, Kafka makes sure that uh, every message is now delivered to every consumer group at least once. Uh, now let's uh, go back uh, to this uh, committed offset indicator. Uh, by default, uh, the offset interval is set to 1, uh, which means that uh, every message's offset is committed right after being received. Uh, however, due to performance reasons, we would prefer to do this commit periodically. And uh, we can simulate it by increasing the interval parameter. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Uh, and if you want to try the application, the link is in the description. And if you want to learn more about Kafka, take a look at the software will table.